we were working and no one was watching. But hopefully you guys were all working. See it. Well, right. You're working. Hi. You're working. You were working? Yes. Very hard. You're doing it all. Yes? Yes? She told me about today. She told me. She, it's, your, it's your fault. Oh, no, it's good to hear you. It's good to hear you here. Because um, this is what we do, basically. We um, sit here and we do our work. And what our work is, is up to you. Okay? So a lot of people here are writers and we live stream. So a lot of folks are writers. Okay? Um, but some folks are actors or architects doing working projects or songwriters working on tunes or whatever. Painters, whatever. And we work for 20 minutes together, and I time it so that we don't go over and work too long. And then at, when the thing goes dicky dicky dick, um, we talk about your work and your creative process. So Watch Me Work is kind of like a trick title, because it's actually about you. The me in the title is you. Okay? So, uh, and online, you guys watching the live stream, via how around you can tweet me your questions and I'll answer them and, and you're gonna tell you come this is the moment when you come up, she's wearing her leather or her pleather, like <laughs> yeah. vegan, uh, loving, suede, seventies jacket. Hi everyone, I'm Annie and we're super excited to be she looks like a newscaster. Oh my god. This is the worst. <laughs> the worst? Oh, that's the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Okay. This is the worst. That's just great. Awesome. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Like it. You can borrow it whenever you want. Anyway, <laughs> on to more important things. I'm, um, my name is Annie, and um, we're super glad to be back <laughs> up and running. And for those of you not with us here, if you have a question, yes. you can send them to our Twitter handle is WatchMeWorkSLP. And tag your question or comment with HowlRound, that's H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. And that is all I have to say. Well done. Thank well you very much. Okay. And okay. Well done. Okay. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do, we're going to work for 20 minutes. I'm trying to get the kickstand of my egg timer happening. I can't do it. Oh, I was just going to lie flat like that. This is a, um, this used to work. Um, <laughs> And we used to watch it, but it's a prop. It's just one of those bad props. I'm, I'm sure we took it down to Jay, right? He fixed it, but it used to actually work. It was functional. And anyway, so this one is now. But you guys are going to sign the time on your phone. And so we don't, you know, we don't want to work too much. And then we're going to talk about your work and your creative process. Okay? So.
so long I forgot to write. So the, the most important part of this is that it's a play. Right. I forgot to say that. So it's a play. Um, and we just did the dialogue part of it. Or no, no, no. That was the action part of it. I forget. That was the action part of it. And now we're going to do the dialogue. So yeah. So that was the action part. The action part is that we were all working. All of us. And then the dialogue part is going to start like right now. And this is the part where we take questions about your work, the gestures always help. Your creative process. And if you make it, you know, if you ask me about my work, I'll just make it about you. Like a good girlfriend. Or evil girlfriend. So uh, does anybody have any, any questions, problems, answers, things to inspire and excite us? Well, let's balance. I'll see how, how far I can, how long I can balance on the table. Yes, Annie. What do you What do you do when you just feel totally uninspired? What? Or like, or nothing, like, or writer's block, or like, do you? Are there times where you feel the the answer is to when is the answer to push through, and when is the answer to walk away? and give yourself space, do you know? Yeah, 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 that's a great question. It happens a lot, so it happens a lot. But yeah, it says, so when do you feel like when you're totally uninspired? Sir, do you want to come through? Watch, we're going to do watch me work. We're doing watch me work, y'all. So here goes. <laughs> <laughs> the man with the pocket seat, he did. People happy over there. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? So it's like that. So, right, so that's exactly, that was the illustration, that was it. So, because both people in that equation, like if you're a writer, both people would be you. So you'd be at the door going, ah, how do I get through this? Right? And then you go through. Um, I always, what I do, what I always ask myself when I'm having a hard time with my work, which is often, I ask myself, the first question I ask myself, or the question that's most important, is am I putting in the time? That's always the question. No other question is really important. Am I putting in the time? Am I sitting down daily and showing up for the work? Right? So you want to make sure you're doing that. So, so it doesn't matter. And you've, you've heard, I'm sure you've all read many writers talking about how they work when they're not inspired. You know, the fabulous Joyce Carol Oates, so my soul is as thin as a playing card. And to paraphrase, like I sit down and write, and sitting down and writing is the one thing that changes everything. So that idea, you know, when your soul is as thin as a plank, or we just don't fucking feel like it. You know, you sit down and you see what's there, and that's how we continue. That's like a sustainable practice. Because if we waited we, until we were inspired, I mean. What do you think? Carol's like, yeah. What do you think, Carol? I go see shows. You go see shows. That's good. That's good. So you go see shows, and then what do you do? I go to the bar. <laughs> I go to the bar. <laughs> and then what do you do? Is it like, should we take the camera? Well, then I have yeah. all these amazing ideas, and then I don't. A lot of times it's hard to sit down and put them on paper. Right. Right. So you're, still, you're coming back to the same. So if you, you're sitting down and you have no ideas, right, and you're having a hard time putting them on paper, so you go to a show, and then you go and hang out with friends or go to the bar or whatever, and then you come home and you have a lot of ideas, and it's really hard to put them down on paper. Put them down on paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it's, you come back to kind of the same. Yeah. I, it's, well, I'm, you know, primarily an actor, so. I, it's different for me because I, you know, this is a secondary thing for me and I'm still learning. And so I don't have the self discipline. I love that I'm like telling this to the world now. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but it's, very, it's very helpful, I think, because even those of us who 
I've been doing it for a long time, can learn from, you know, how do we build this, but what is, the, what is the, I mean, so you're an actor, so you learn how to like, you like, um, you learn lines, right? I'm guessing, right? And so there's a, there's a discipline needed for, for line learning, right? Yes. Okay, and you have to maybe sit down or stand up and yeah, I mean, spend time with it somehow, right? Okay. And you have little tricks and devices like... Record myself, do household tasks while I'm learning the lines. So it just becomes like... A right, player. right, right. So what we find out in, in any... It, that's why it's called watch me work and not watch me write. Is that if you have a skill or a talent in one area, it's often a transferable skill, right? So everything you know already about acting, all that good stuff, that discipline, that skill, you can transfer to writing or anything, or parenting or whatever you want to do. It's something that you know how to do and you just translate it into that other, the specifics of the other language. So you can, yeah, so you're thinking, yeah, here I am, I'm having trouble sitting down at my desk writing, right? Hmm, get up and maybe do some, I don't know, vacuuming or sweeping. Right? Or mopping the floor or washing the windows or whatever. A lot of times that repetitive movement can get you, can relax your mind. Yeah? Um, but really, at the end of the day, sit down and sit down for 20 minutes. That's why we only sit for 20 minutes. This thing is magical. That's why it's a magical thing. It doesn't look magical, but it's a magical thing. And, um, and so we only set it for 20 minutes. And we sit down, and if you can, if you're having your writing practice and you're having difficulty, just sit and in front of your writing instruments for 20 minutes and see. And if you can't do 20, because sometimes 20 is hard, do 10 or 5. Hey, we got that guy. You got Hamilton in the house. Yeah, hi, man. How you doing? Um, but you know, it's 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 2 minutes. If you can uh, sit down. And you start your timer, and you turn it on, and you sit there writing, you know, in your notebook or on your laptop or on your type, whatever you want to write, for two minutes. <laughs> Great. Okay, did my writing for the day. Just show up every day. It's like magical. It's like money in the bank. It's like, really, it's like if you put a dollar in the bank every single day, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I know, they're looking at They're saying, hi. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. Is that, help? Is that yes. helpful? Because it's so simple. We think we have to like do some special, I was at, where was I, giving a talk at USC uh, the other week, and so they were like, so what's your method? You know, what's your thing? Do you like, you know, you write a candle, uh, write, write a candle, you light a candle, and you do this, and I'm like, I sit down, and I turn the timer on, and that's it. That's pretty much it. And I just move my fingers. Anybody else? Question. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So, um, I have all these. I have like this. I'm gonna call it amorphous. A general idea of like right. the things. That what did you think, call it? I called it amorphous. Amorphous. Okay. Like for for a while, I've had an idea of this general topic I want to write about. Right. But I haven't known what medium it'll play in. Right. Um, whether it's a play, whether it's a film, whether it's a book, whether it's essays, right? And I'm now committing to being more regular with writing, right? So that I feel more comfortable with it, right? But I, I kind of don't know how long to write and brainstorm before saying I'm going to turn it into something. Like, like when do I? Do, for me, it feels often like I'm journaling. Uh huh. But it's like when do I say okay? I spent enough time in this, let me start shaping what I have. Right. So how long have you been journaling or brainstorming or regularly? I mean, not well, that's your the whole thing. life, but how long, since you said, okay, I mean, how long has it been? Well, maybe two years. I'm not going to say that, I, but it hasn't been steady. Okay. Like, it's like I pop in, start writing stuff, then I pop out. And then I write, and then I right. pop out. Right, so if it was, I know you're... I think you're married. You have a ring on. So if it was like somebody you were like married to, yeah. and you were like married, you say, yeah, we're married, but I'm going to pop in. <laughs> 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 I 
so you are taking back the room. You see, you're ready to have stuff. Well, right, but so then the, the process of turning the verbatim into something else yes. makes sure. me scared for it. Oh, sure. Like, but it's, I, think, I feel like as long as you have it down the way, you have it respectfully, right? And then you work.
any tips for like kind of the, the neglect of like all the different roles? Because I came out saying like, oh, I'm going to be an actor, but then like I was writing all the time and that was just always something that just, I felt my calling to do and didn't seem like that's my career. Right. Um, but now I'm trying to think like, oh, should I just like go back to class? Is that the only way to like organize myself into, I can be an actor right now, or I can be a writer right now, or I can be a musician right now. Like, because I feel like every day I have to make a choice. Am I going to be a writer today? Right, right, right. But this goes, this is like the second chapter of your other story that you were telling me became. Ah, so it's the same thing. Alexis was like, I have 50 projects and I can't decide. And so I do this and I do that and I do this and I do that. Right? Now you're like, now I have 50 careers and I can't decide. Um, I would just say, whatever you're doing at the moment, do it with all your attention. So if you're going to be a writer from, you know, 9 in the morning to 2 o'clock, at your desk or whatever, do that thoroughly. And then if you're gonna then get ready for a gig, go out and do a great gig. That's what I mean. Just split it like that, but just do it with attention. You don't have to choose one. Like I spent all year like writing, and I was like, oh, I haven't acted this year that much. Okay, and then that's Yeah, but also know that you have a tendency to put a lot of things in your field and not be able to choose. That's So this is one of those times. So no, you don't have to go back to school and immerse yourself in some in an acting career to be an actor. Sorry, I mean, I, know, I don't know if everybody's great, but you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because then you'd be at the same place, but just backwards. You'd be thinking, ah, oh, I thought I should have been a writer, but now I spent three years acting, and then I have a degree in acting, and I should get back into You know what I'm saying? So you, what you need to do is just incorporate everything. like. If you're acting, great, but remember you want to do some writing, so make sure you make time for your writing. Because acting, you don't have to do it 24-7, you have to time, right? So just keep, it's like uh, in an airplane. Have you ever looked out at your airplane window and seen that, ah, oh, there's a plane out there, another airplane. And it's like five miles away and like 10 miles down, and it looks like it's, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. So all your planes are going from here to so a, somewhere, what, somewhere, where? My, where's my, oh, just like a just, just, Where's a nice place that you oh, like? Great, <laughs> right. okay, I was going to say, okay, so <laughs> all your planes are going from here to Bermuda, right? And they're just in different places. And air traffic control, well, your mind needs to just organize them. That's all. It's, 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 sim it's simple. We're allowed to do more than one thing. You, know? you don't have to stop doing what you're doing and go back to school and study acting and give up writing only to want to do more writing when you're in school because you gave up writing to be an actor. You know what I mean? It's good to be so talented, though. I know, Bobby Goff, I'll put you I have gorgeous hair. Do it Yeah, so I kind of gotten to, I'm, I've hit another, like, I'm in the middle right. wall, and right. I'm just, I, I've gotten to a place where I'm looking at the notes that I've written and I'm like, maybe if I make them really pretty, that will help. And oh, I yeah. like started tacking them to the wall and yeah. like watching them literally like right. come together as a jigsaw puzzle. And I'm right. just like, I kind of am like, when am I going to stop writing notes and driving myself crazy? So I'm trying to get to a place where it's like, okay, I put all the scenes in order and now it's just making sense of them all. You put all the scenes in order. They're all in order. They're, they're, they're all written. They're all in second draft. Okay. Some of it is just like, I should write about this, and then I should write about that. And I think it's just a matter of... You put all the scenes in order, order, like all the scenes are written, or all the scenes are in order of when they might happen. Like, what three happens in are, Three of them are like, okay, these are written and ready for uh -huh, people uh -huh. to, like, I'll give them to people to look at. And then four of them are... Right, like, right. this would be really cool, how am I going to write this? Right, 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 right. Okay, so two things. I think I already said, so three of them are written like I give them to people to look like. Like I would give them to, yeah. to the conditional. You yeah. have not. One of them I have. Okay, and, and which would? Well, she thought it was funny, but her, yeah, it was like... Put on the brick! Yeah, yeah. Sure. Because, 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 because. You're going to write to the end before you show anybody. Right. Because, 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 because. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, it's good. It's great. I mean, I hope the feedback was good. It was good. It was very much like, she's like, I really don't have time to read more than four pages. I said, great, here's four pages. 
of something new. And you know, I've known her for a very long time. It's just a matter. But I, yeah, I just I've got a very bad habit of not completing and having people look at it before it's complete. I'm trying to get away from that. Okay, great, so, awesome, awesome. So here we go. We're gonna get away from this. So we take the, we don't have to put the foot on the brake because you know what your problem is. Take the foot off the brake. And um, when are you gonna stop writing notes? When you start writing the scenes? Yeah. And and are you concerned that they might not be as good as they are in your head? That's part of it. And what else? Historical being like doing the research and being historically accurate about things. And what if you're historically inaccurate? I think that's more me putting pressure on myself. What if you don't do any research? That's a better, I think that might be a better idea. What if you're, you're, what if you're like, yo, I'm a first responder, I'm going to just write this on the fucking fly and then I'll do the research later? That might be a better, that, that might be a better idea. What if you write so fast that the person in your mind who tells you that you shouldn't be writing and can't keep up with you? That sounds cool. Yeah, so how many scenes do you have? Seven. Seven. So what if you wrote like, I don't know, how many pages are, is each scene like? It's about, it looks like to be about 17 to 20. Seven, each scene is 17 to 20. No, 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 the oh. whole thing together. So each seven. scene is probably like one is four pages, one is three pages. Great. So what if you wrote like a scene every three days? Okay. Just like. Have you ever like been sick and your stomach hurts and you throw up? Have you ever had that? Oh, yes. You put that paper. Yeah. So I just vomit it out. Okay. No, and and don't give it to your friend to read it. Yeah, that was that was not wise. Well, it, 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 you did it, so you know we've been married and divorced. It's okay. We're not gonna go to hell for it. You know what I mean? Or, or writer's hell. You know? Yeah. Just just stop. Stop and go get the other one. You know? Start showing it to yourself. That's who needs to see it. You need to see those scenes. So write, vomit something out. Like, can you, can, are you, you're writing every day. Yeah. Great. So just start writing the scene. Start with the yeah. scene, the first scene. And yeah. Yeah, because it's just from the And make it really bad. Make it bad. Impress me. Make it really <laughs> shitty. Come in here and I'll be like, oh, man, girl, that scene stinks. Like that. I bet you can't do that. I bet you can't. I bet you can't. I bet you'll try and it won't happen. Because you'll come in and you'll be like radiant. I'm like, I love it. Is it my challenge? It's your challenge is to make it really, really stinky so I can smell it. Okay. Like write the shittiest, stinkiest, dumbest, lamest thing ever in the history of all playwriting in the entire world. Okay. Okay. And just like, you know, Right, write a jack that would be shittier than mine, but you can't, but you can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay? I think so, yeah. Write fast, you write every day. Stop writing notes, start writing your play. Okay? And just like next, so next week, we, you should have like what? Two scenes written, right? Yeah. So you write one and then you write another one. And don't read them. Okay. Just <laughs> And then go to the next one. Yeah, so, yeah. so let go of that. Just let go. Let go. Let, just let it go. Just let that go. Just, you're holding on to that. Just, you know, there's that story um, in, uh, well, where there are uh, monkeys that, uh, chimpanzees and monkeys that enjoy being around people sometimes. Um, people like to catch them. Have you heard the story where they have these coconuts? And the best way to catch a monkey is to hollow out the coconut and then put a little candy inside. And the monkey will put his hand in or her hand and they'll grab the candy and then, you know, the, the coconut is like attached to something, right? Like a rope. And they'll grab the candy and they'll sit there and go, oh shit, I can't get my hand out. And all the hunter has to do is go up to the monkey and get them because they won't release their hand to take it out of the coconut. So this grasping that we do sometimes all we have to do is let go, and then we're free to do what we need to do, right? Okay. Just, just, just do it. Just, yeah, really. Okay. And the only, the worst, what's the worst thing that can happen? The worst thing that can happen is you write.
write a lousy draft and you join the millions of writers. You think Hamilton was good? I point to because Lemon and Wallace was pictured in that. You think Hamilton was like brilliant the first draft? I would certainly hope so, but probably not. Probably not. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. But you know, I think it like was workshop, wasn't it? Which means it wasn't brilliant and perfect when it came out. And it was based on something, you know, so like, it had some foundation there. You know, like yours does. Yours is like a, a factual series of events that you witnessed. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's a good idea. Okay, well, it's only a good idea if you're going to do it. If you don't do it, then it's just a stupid idea. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just balancing on the side of this desk. Anybody else? And I just, I don't know how to, I guess, articulate it. I see, I see things, like I see pictures of, like, a scene that might happen or a few characters. Right. I just don't know, I guess, which angle to, as a point of entry to begin. Right. Um, and I'll write about a little thing over here and then write about another little thing over here and I guess not know how to connect the dots from the two. Right. So I just... It's a great know. question. Did you hear Stephanie's question? She, she has an idea. She, she sees scenes. And she'll write about the scene, and then she'll write the scene, and then she'll write the scene, and she doesn't know how to connect them all together. Right, is, that, is that an accurate? Yeah, yeah. Or, or like have an idea for a character, but not yet fully understand where they should fit into the larger right, 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 right. The puzzle. It's right. so early on that I Right. Well, do you, so you, do you spend time every day working on this wonderful thing you're writing? I, I no, I should. It's, it's more like a, every week or so, like I, I'll commit to it, and then come back and then other things will, you know. Like what? Do you like watch recreational television? No, no, no. Do you uh, surf online and <laughs> read about the political climate? I, yeah. I I'm just like, wondering where your time is going. Oh, yeah. It's just looking like, into the future. Why? Um, <laughs> no, like, I, I'm, also, I'm also an actor, so I'm trying to just balance okay. and things like that, too. Um, but that's not an excuse. Yeah. No, you're right. I'm you're right. No, you're totally right. I so, just 20 minutes. I mean, do you have 20 minutes of time? Yeah. Okay. Buckle down for it. Well, you don't have to buckle down. You just have to turn on your computer and do like your heart's desire. No buckling necessary. You know what I mean? There's no whipping, no beating, no buckling, no shackling, no pain, no. Well, there might be pain, but there's not going to be any, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just you're going to do like what's going to make you really, 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 really happy, right? Yeah, I just, I just didn't know like, if, is there supposed to be like, I guess, a chicken or an egg of like what, what supposed to bubble up first, or it just happens and... Alexis is gone. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I think the only thing is, the only thing, the chicken and the egg thing is not with product, but with process. So that the, the, the thing that comes first, if that's the question, is you're going to devote time to it. And the thing that comes next is the wonderful thing that makes you really happy. Okay? But it's a great question. So I would say just put more time into it. Okay. And again, these things are going to start to talk to you. You're going to start to, again, it's like dating. Again, you, gotta, you can't be popping in and out of this lover of yours, you know? You have to sit there and be consistent with him or it. Okay? And you, if you have a character and you don't know where they fit, ask them. Just say, where do you fit? In a nice way. Yeah. And they'll be like, I'm the star. The show. And you say, why? What do you do that's so interesting? And they go, I, you know, knit really well. And go, wow, okay, so maybe it's a play about knitting. I mean, they may play about spelling. You're welcome. But it's true, right? I mean, but that's the answer to everything. Like, we just show up. It's really, it's just like, just put the time in. I, and I'm not saying like, oh, you waste your time. We're all like super busy, right? And Annie's thinking about to tell me that one more time. Time it up. Cut off. Stop talking. We can stop talking. Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs> we'll be here next week, right, Annie? We'll be here next week. October 24th. Awesome. Okay, bye. I'm just going to finish talking. Stephanie. Okay, bye. But um, <laughs> we all, you're really busy. Everybody's super, super busy, right? 
And that's the thing. It's like time management. You know, learn it now or learn it better than if you don't have it now. You know, 20 minutes a day, that's all you need to make your thing come to life. You know, it really, really, really works. Because sometimes, I mean, I have a five-year-old. You know, Carol is my witness. Five-year-old, my mommy is a stage like, mommy, look at what I look at. Colored Darth Vader's helmet blue. Because I thought I was going to I was like, great. You know, 20 minutes a day is all I need to get myself done. It works. Okay. okay, so we'll be back next time. Next week. Same time, same channel. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for coming.